Hi guys, I'm uh, going to do another one of my let's take something apart and salvage the bits videos. Uh, this is a, I've never seen it before, it's a yellow, Y-E-L-O uh, DVD player uh, that somebody's given me. And the purpose of this video is just to take it apart. I'm not trying to repair it. Um, I'm going to take it apart and salvage any bits I can out of it. It's got a couple of screws on either end, so that should be an easy start. I'm going to try out my new cheap cordless screwdriver. Let's see if that works. Okay, that's got the lid off. What have we got inside DVD player, a big spider. Might take him outside in a minute and let him go. And a few electronic bits. Right, I should just take my spider outside and let him go free. And then I'll come back. Okay, got rid of the big spider. Looks like this front should pop off with a bit of leverage. Yeah, he's come off okay. Got a few connectors. Oh, they're coming out nicely. That makes a change. Okay, apart from the spider's webs, front panel. Uh, what have we got there? Volume control, so there might be a variable resistor there on that circuitry I can use. Phono plug. Uh, a few other bits and pieces, so I'll take that apart in a minute. Turn this around so we can see inside. Oh, more spiders. <laughs> I'll take him outside. Right, nearly done.
Okay, summary time. What did we get out of it? Uh, some screws and a few leads. Might have some useful connectors on the end. Some odds and ends plastic. That's the plastic feet. I suppose potentially I could use them as wheels for something. <laughs> I might make wheels for a toy. Uh, a few other bits of plastic. Okay, electronics. That's the power unit, or power supply, which has got 5 volt, 12 volt, 3.5 volt, 9 volt, 24 volt. That's got quite a few outputs there, so that might be useful. If it's not useful, then it's got a few transformers on it, and um, yeah, diodes, capacitors, rectifiers. So, but I think it'd be more useful as a power supply on its own. That was the front panel driver or unit. It's got a infrared detector, a few capacitors, a few little push buttons. LCD display, which I think will be absolutely useless to me. That's the audio and video output unit. That looks like it's a little um, volume control for the headset. So that might be a useful little unit just on its own. That's the SCART socket output, which I can't think of a use for. That's the actual DVD player itself. Uh, that was the control unit from the top of it. DVD player, it's got a DC motor there. Stepper motor there stepper motor there and laser there a couple of metal plates from the top and bottom of the DVD player plastic front cover that's going to definitely go in the rubbish metal back plate metal base and metal top. So metal scrap, plastic scrap, some useful bits of circuitry and some screws and some plas uh, wires with some useful connectors on the end. So, some useful bits. <laughs>